reporting for Infowars.com. We are here in Cleveland, Ohio, at a Jay-Z concert that is being held campaigning for Hillary Clinton. Now, both Jay-Z and Hillary are scheduled to appear very shortly. The crowd is not that big for this being a Jay-Z concert in which it was completely free to attend. It just shows more attempts on the Clinton campaign's part in order to make it look like she has more support than she actually does. Now, it's interesting to note here that John Podesta's emails that recently came out talking about, you know, these uh, spirit cooking parties, you know, the occultism that's rampant in Hollywood and how Hillary Clinton and Podesta are also being implicated and involved in these supposed occults. It's no wonder that Hillary Clinton surrounds herself with these occult people like Saul Alinsky or Jay-Z. Now Jay-Z is open occultist. He has worn attire quoting Aleister Crowley's do as thou wilt, which is basically the philosophy that you can do whatever you want to anybody, whatever evils or anything, that there's basically no law of the land. That is the philosophy that these people abide to. Notice that the way that the people have been placed and seated in this arena, it has been strategically done in order to make it look like more people are here than there actually are. If you look and see the three mainstream media live feeds, they are placed really up close in the middle of the small seated crowd and they can then pan left and then middle and then right and, and make it appear as though there's more people than there than there actually are. If they were actually I move it, these yeah, cameras farther back, they no would stop. then show a bunch of empty seats. So we are probably 15 minutes out until this concert is scheduled to keep begin. Jay-Z, I mean, he's supposed to be some popular rap star, and they were expecting him to be able to pull in a large crowd in order to make it look like Hillary Clinton has most, more support than she actually does. It's important to note here that this concert was free. There was no monetary charge. Sing this. Supporting Donald Trump. David Duke and the KKK are supporting Donald Trump. Touch with reality, hoes out in Hollywood, bring it back five or six songs. Fucking then we kick her to the dome, nigga. You know how she deserved that. She a bird, it's a bird check. You think if I didn't rap, she'll flirt back. Take it off her skirt, let her wear my shirt for she leave. Nigga, you know how I come. One time for my LA sisters. One time for my lame niggas can't tell the difference. One time for a nigga who say don't save her. Don't save her. Don't save her. Y'all you know, help me sing. Take what's mine. I'm a star. Cause I slip. Eight years ago, I 
was so inspired to know that my nephew, a young black child, could grow up knowing his dreams could be realized by witnessing a black president in office. I want my daughter to grow up seeing a woman lead our country by electing the first woman president. Yes. And that is why I'm with her. We will. to you, the next president of the United States, Hillary Clinton. Thank you all, and thanks to Jay-Z and Beyonce. That as long as we're together, we're much stronger. Tell these niggas we don't want no problems. You don't want no zero problems, big fella. J. Cole. Anybody is a killer, all you gotta do is put us in a fix. Don't be intimidated and intimidated, politic and when the push is in the fix. I'm trying to write a story, can I get a fix? Hey, can I get a Big Sean. Look, I tell them, bitch, do whatever I say. When I see them here, this passion and energy and intensity, I don't even know where to begin because this is what America is, my friends. We have a woman who is an inspiration to so many others. I thank her. I thank Beyonce for standing up and showing the world we are strongest when we look out for each other. And I thank Jay for addressing in his music some of our biggest challenges in the country. fourth challenge is to take back our streets from crime, gangs, and drugs. We need to take these people on. They are often connected to big drug cartels. They are not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heel. We just saw Beyonce appear as a special guest for the Jay-Z concert that he was performing for Hillary Clinton, you know, campaigning. They were really campaigning for Hillary Clinton. And we saw a lot of occult symbolism that was weaved within the performances. There were a lot of images that were definitely full of cult symbolism, as well as hand signs and hand gestures that did, you know, symbolize the occult. Now, this is very interesting because of the Podesta email that was recently revealed talking about, you know, talking about spirit cooking, and that is actually a, an occult ritual, occult satanic ritual. Let's go ahead and ask some of these people here if they came out for Jay-Z or if they came out for Hillary Clinton and let's go see if we can ask them if they know what spirit cooking is. What brought you out here today? Beyonce. Did you know that she was going to perform before you came? Of course. I had a, I had a guess. Wow. And what about Jay-Z? I love Jay-Z too. So you came out for Jay-Z? Yes. 
Absolutely. How, how big of a fan are you for Beyonce, though? Absolutely. I've actually seen her three times, and I went to a different city because she's never come here. Do you house. know what spirit cooking is? Spirit cooking? Yeah. No. Do you know about Jay-Z, um, his affiliations with the Illuminati? I don't believe in that. You don't believe in it? No, I don't believe in Jay-Z being an Illuminati, and neither is Beyonce. I can assume that spirit cooking means... Um, uplifting the people, of, uh, uplifting the spirits of other people around you. So I'm assuming that that's what this concert was for, to cook the spirit, to get everybody out to vote, and to encourage other people to vote as well. So, What do you think about those emails that have been coming out on her? I mean, I think people aren't concerned about the emails. I think people are concerned about... It sounds corny, but actually being stronger together. Everybody can win. We don't need a society where there's winners and losers. We need a society where we're all winners. Do you, know, what's, so. take this do you know what spirit cooking is? Spirit cooking. No. Basically, they just mix all kinds of weird bodily fluids together and so why, cook with it. So what email reference spirit cooking? A Podesta, John Podesta, one of Hillary's, his, her campaign manager at the time, was talking about having a, a spirit cooking you know party. What? I care about jobs. I care about the economy. I care about women. I care about the Supreme Court. I care about um, women's right to choose. I care about equal pay for women. I don't give a rat's ass about spirit cooking, whatever it is. What do you think about the FBI reopening the investigation on Hillary Clinton? Do you think that'll affect her campaign? Um, no, I, I definitely don't think so. Um, I think this would actually increase her campaign, or increase the voting, um, because I feel like the FBI needs to reevaluate um, their structure and their law and their standards, and I think that would be a great deal for Hillary. You know, I think that's unfair, especially the timing of it. I think the timing of it is really off, right? I mean, close to the election time. They're just trying to throw the voters off, but we know who we want to be the next president, and we're going to vote for Hillary. What do you think that they could possibly have that would justify them to reopen the case? I don't think they have anything. Honestly, I don't think they have anything. So we're all going to come out, we're all going to support Hillary, and we're all going to vote for Hillary for to be the next president of the United States. Do you know what spirit cooking is? I do not. It's a occult ritual. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's news to me. What do you think about Jay-Z and his ties to the occult? I don't think Jay-Z's in a cult. Jay-Z's a firm believer of God, and that's it. You know, and he, I don't think he's in a cult. Do you think Beyonce is? No. Do you think any of them are? I don't think so. I think that's all made up. It's all conspiracy theorists. Sorry, what did you say? That you guys are insane. You go around going using non-facts. Well, if you want to say something, go ahead and say something, but otherwise just... I would, but you're going to discredit it. So apparently a Hillary supporter was triggered just by the presence of this InfoWars logo here. This is Millie Weaver signing off for InfoWars.com.